What's up guys, Shay Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and I'm here with the Team Foundation Challenge for August. Let's get to it. So this challenge might look familiar. I did something very similar last year, but apparently I still need to work on this skill. So recently my putt's been feeling great. Uh, it doesn't matter. Spin putt, push putt, st uh, straddle stance, stagger stance. Like even my scoobers have been on point. But give me a low ceiling that requires me to go down to a knee, and I'm just going to front rim bang it or pull it to the right every time, and it's just really frustrating. Found myself in that situation a lot this past month, and it cost me so many strokes. So decided to go out this morning to try and work on it and figure things out and decided, you know, why not make it the challenge for the month too? So rules are pretty simple. You're going to set up at 30 feet, so out towards circle's edge. And you're going to get 10 putts from a knee with the goal of trying to meet or beat my score. So let's head out to the field and see how I did. So 2 out of 10 is the number to meet or beat to complete this challenge. Pretty low bar, guys. I hope you get a lot of entries into this giveaway because it's an easy one. Um, now, I did stay out there for like 30 minutes after I filmed this just to keep working on it. Uh, some things I realized were, you know, I was just really going whole arm from a knee. And, you know, while the contribution your legs make to the putt is diminished when you're down on a knee, they can still contribute some power. So I really started focusing on, you know, rocking back a little bit and pushing off that back leg. And what that did is it freed up power, or sorry, it added power for my legs, which allowed me to be more controlling with my arm. Didn't have to, like, you know, swing the arm as fast. And I really just focused on a nice smooth swing and popping my wrist, getting spin on the disc. And I found a lot of success with that and a lot of extra distance from a knee. So, uh, you know, a couple tips there that might help you out in your attempts. Uh, now, to be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is record yourself completing this challenge. And you're going to submit that video to the Foundation Disc Op Discord server. Uh, linked in uh, the description below. And you'll find the Team Foundation channel, and in there you'll find a thread for this month's challenge. You'll have this video linked in there. And just in that thread, you'll drop your link or just post your video there, and that'll get you in the running for the giveaway. I'll be doing uh, submissions all through the month. Uh, so last day in August, uh, you know, midnight will be the cutoff, and I'll do a drawing, and someone will be winning for me. This really sweet Electron Nomad. So this stamp, uh, I believe it's called The Crew. It's also like, you know... Skullboy's greatest hits. It's a whole bunch, it's a, you know, a bunch of his stamps on one disc. Uh, story behind this, I heard. I uh, know it came out in the Gyre Palooza boxes in this past year, and I believe there was just something with the foiling. I think they like just messed up where the foil was supposed to be or whatever, and it never actually got released in the MVP Pro Shop. Uh, and then I heard Skullboy said, "Hey, yeah, it's cool. You can throw them in the Gyre Palooza boxes." So you know, neat little treat that no one was really expecting. Uh, this one's run on a Nomad, so you know, really cool design there. And you'll also be getting. A $20 off coupon code to the Foundation Disc Golf uh, website. So thank you once again to Foundation for supporting these challenges. Uh, but with that, guys, I just want to say thank you for all your support. If you have any questions for me, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Foundation Disc Golf.